What is going on, everybody? A few things you want to talk about today. Number one, well, one of the topics, rather, is do I have too much cash sitting on the sidelines of my account? I'd like to discuss that with you and kind of see, like, where your percentages are at or, or whatever and what you feel about it. That's one great thing about having a YouTube channel is you can discuss these things with people. So when I get to that, and, and if you listen to it, please leave a comment. I'd like to know kind of like what your thoughts are on it. Um, and I also want to talk about taking leaps of faith in life and how powerful that really is. But first, I want to say happy Father's Day to all the fathers, all the grandparents, grandfathers out there. Guys, sometimes it's a very thankless job what we do, but it, it's so incredibly worthwhile. And I am so blessed to be a father and a grandfather. I'm, I can't tell you how blessed I am. And I'm, you know, when the kids were growing up, I wasn't sure, right? Because it was so hard. But as time has gone on, um, I'm extremely thankful and grateful. So to all you fathers out there, I tip my cap to you. Gentlemen, you, you guys are incredible men and uh, keep raising the future of America or wherever, worldwide, please. And if you're a deadbeat dad, Tuesday is trash day. That's your day. Today is Father's Day. So to all the real fathers out there, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you. So, before I get into how much cash, percentage-wise, I have in my account, and maybe it's too much, I want to about talk about taking leaps of faith. And, and it is relevant. Um, there's a buddy on a Discord server who is going to be taking a leap of faith in his life. At some point, he's talking about leaving his job and trying to live off dividends and trading options similar to hopefully, hopefully, what I'll be doing at the end of this year. Just totally depends on a food business, but you'll see how that goes, right? Or we will see how that goes. But taking leaps of faith can be extremely powerful. And I know this just, and all I can speak on, guys, is my own experience in life. I worked for the school district for 15 years, right and and i was coaching and i was living paycheck to paycheck we weren't getting anywhere and i wanted to take a leap of faith and pursue the food business and i was so nervous and so scared i had five mouths de depending on me i had my wife depending on me and it it was a lot of pressure to make this decision so my wife we talked about it back and forth quite a bit still didn't make a decision still on the fence and i and then one night I, I i just had to talk to her about it after we've had multiple conversations right and she said mike mike listen living with regret is worse than living with failure you could go on the rest of your life regretting that you never got into the food business you could still be coaching, still working at the school district, whatever, until you're 65, regretting it every single day. That's all I needed to hear. That We had so many conversations. But when she gave me that quote, I don't know if she made it up. I don't know. I've never asked her if she made it up. But um, she said that quote to me. And that is all I needed to hear. I was like, that's it, baby. We're gone. I'm gone. We're done. We're doing it. And it was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my entire life for my family was going into the food business. We took a leap of faith, leaving a job with secure income. It wasn't great income. Trust me, high school coaches do not make a lot of money, um, but, but it's secure, right? Leaving a job with secure income to pursue the unknown. I didn't want to live with regret. I took the leap of faith. And what a powerful thing that became. 
when you're thinking about taking a leap of faith, it can be, the fear can be paralyzing. You can't move, you can't make decisions because you're so scared of what could possibly happen from the negative aspect, right? But I'm gonna tell you why it's so powerful and why it kind of worked out for us and why if anyone talks about taking leaps of faith, I firmly believe people should. Does it mean it will work out for you? No, but you don't know, guys. You don't know until you try. One reason why I think it's so powerful is because you have a goal of what you're trying to achieve and you laser focus. You have blinders on from the outside world. Nothing can affect you. You have laser focus on that goal and you hammer it and you try to reach that goal and you will reach it because you're so, well, hopefully you will reach it because you're so focused. And even if you have downs and ups and downs, and even during the down periods, you don't care. You're focused on a goal for you and your family and you believe in your heart that it's the right move to make. Yes, you may have some self-doubt during the process. That's only natural. And yes, you may go through sacrifices, much like I did. But if you stay laser focused and believe in the goal, I believe for you, it will work out. Most folks will never take a leap of faith. I'm not gonna say there's a lot of talk on the internet and particularly in this space now, about having balls. It's not about having balls, all right? It's, it's just about leaving your comfort zone, okay? That's where most people won't do it. They don't want to leave their comfort zone. And sorry, I'm looking to the side. I have my notes here. I have some points I, I didn't want to forget, so I have them on the table here. But most folks won't do it because... They don't want to leave their comfort zone and they're scared. And all that stuff is natural and it's okay. Take the leap of faith. Laser focus on your goal and I believe it will work out for you. That went a little longer than I expected, but I'm passionate about that particular subject just because that leap of faith worked out for my family. Now, on to what another topic I really wanted to talk about, cash on the sidelines. Now, I've been investing for a very long time, not necessarily in dividend funds or high yield dividend funds, but in stocks. Some of those just had dividends associated with them, but the dividends are so minuscule, I never even gave them a second thought. Honestly, I didn't. It was all about the growth. And it was important for me to keep cash in the account. I really liked a 60-40 split 60% in a market 40% in cash out that made me comfortable that way I could buy on dips I wouldn't have to sell assets to get cash right I had to I would use my concession stand money and, and put cash in there and keep about 40% on the side and that helped me out during dips during corrections all that stuff so I'm very comfortable with my 60 40 split and some people say, Mike, your money's not working for you. It's on the sideline. Guys, it, it works for me when I tactically employ it. And then it works for me. N now it doesn't work for me 24-7. But now with dividend accounts, I'm, I posted this in my Discord server. I'm about 65-35. And I thought, you know what? Because I'm getting dividends every month, I don't think I necessarily need that kind of split. What is your split? Like, what is your cash versus your dividends? Now, I don't use margin, so I do have to have some kind of cash reserve because I don't use margin, so I will need cash when the market corrects or dips or buy on X date, stuff like that. But I don't think I necessarily need a 65-35. I think I can get by comfortably with like an 80-20 because I think the dividends will come in 
and replace what I would typically use as cash, right? I hope that makes sense. So right now, like I said, I'm sitting on 65.35. I think I want to change that to like an 80.20. So please let me know if you've watched this all my rambling all the way through. Please let me know what your cash reserve is and and, and tell me what you think. And if, if you think it's too much, I would love to hear other people's thoughts and opinions on this. Happy Father's Day. I hope you enjoyed the content. This is Mike, the Tactical Stock Scalper, out.